I hope everyone is having a wonderful day or night. I want to see you all out there on the globe. Today, we are going to talk about Ripple and XRP, as well as the great majority of cryptocurrencies and money. I noticed this post appeared on my timeline today, and it made me think that we ought to be delving deeper into this topic as we recently produced a video discussing inflation. We also touched on the subject of BRICS a little bit, and we are aware of the current situation with them. However, this post was made by Ox Hedge, which, for those who are not aware, is a very large account. I really advise you to check it out, as they provide a ton of excellent insights. This is a story that was produced for EMSN about BRICS, and my attempt to destroy the dollar. Three nations have united to do away with the dollar using BRIC currency. Now, let's look at some more headlines. Are they going to kill the dollar overnight? They are a little out there when it comes to trying to get you to click, read it, and do other things like that. No, but it could weaken the dollar's dominance and trigger a massive shift away from using the dollar internationally. When that happens, and we witness a sharp decline in usage, the dollar becomes extremely bearish, and everyone should be on the lookout because it will once again tie those who are tied to the US dollar for their retirement plans, their 400 wonks, and those who have sizable sums of money in saving. Accounts. What do you think? They will be destroyed. The world's financial system is about to undergo a dramatic change as three of the alliance's strongest nations prepare to introduce a new currency that could topple the US dollar from its long-standing position of dominance. This daring move by Brazil, Russia, and South Africa, three of the five founding members of the group, is more than just a declaration of a new era in which the dollar's hegemony may be challenged and a multipolar world may arise. You remember what we discussed here, don't you? It's not only about currency, power, or any of that. No, they are done with the US weaponizing the dollar as they have been doing for decades. They have also been weaponizing the SWIFT network, and sanctions against Russia serve as a prime example of how we have weaponized the US financial network. To put it another way, we use it for our own gain. We weaponize it in the same way that we have weaponized the US dollar against all of these other countries, and they are tired of it. They are also done with mass printing because, guess what? Why does devaluing the dollar imply devaluing all these other countries as well, ultimately ruining them monetarily? This is a big problem, and that's why they are done with this. But also, we just saw this article BRICS passes G7 in GDP to become more powerful in 2023. And we actually see down here that the G7 nations in global GDP to become more powerful in 2023, indeed data shows that the BRICS blocks now hold 32 of the world's GDP, while the US-led G7 comprises 30. The development is a sign of the multipolarity that the BRICS alliance has worked to establish throughout the year. Moreover, the expansion announced at its 2023 annual summit certainly widened those figures specifically and again. We do. Know that Saudi Arabia did not officially join, but we also have the UAE, Iran, Egypt, and Ethiopia are set to join the growing alliance. Saudi Arabia is still on the back burner. We don't know what exactly that are going to do. But all of this can significantly change these factors. These statistics could change overnight from 32 for an example to 35, 40, or even more. But again, this is something that we need to watch for because this has been eroding since going all the way back to 1995, guys. I just talked about the new. World order, it's been happening for a very long time since going all the way back to 1995. Or even prior and events in history have drastically changed this and accelerated it 2020. Let it be known. That was the moment everything changed, and you can see that on this chart. Now we need to continue to watch this, because again, this is dominance. This, if you will, is power. However, as of 2014, the US was no longer the largest economy in the world. In fact, China overtook the US, according to the EN Fred. Specifically, they noted that China's GDP was a record-breaking $30 trillion, while the US came in second with $25 trillion. 2024 should be a critical year for the alliance to maintain these differences as the five new members offer economic advantages to the increasingly influential alliance. In addition, we have this post from Justin Argentina, whose president criticized socialism during a speech at the World Economic Forum, 
the main Western leaders have abandoned the concept of freedom in favor of various forms of what we refer to as collectivism. Greetings, thank you very much. Today, I am here to inform you that the Western world is in danger. This is due to a worldview that inevitably leads to socialism and poverty co-opting, the people who should be defending Western value. Sadly, in recent decades, the main Western leaders have abandoned the model of freedom in favor of various forms of collectivism. We are here to tell you that collectivist experiments are never the solution to the problems that plague the people of the world's citizens. There is no one better to attest to these two points than us Argentines. And once more, this is what we are seeing in a time when everything is changing. And they are the main cause. Believe me, it is currently in overdrive, so we should really just look at all of the accelerators that will push this forward even further. Rob Cunningham wrote a great post, which I also saw. The war for control over the global monetary system is the main force behind current events, and it is deplatforming the outdated, privately owned, toxically perverted, for profit debt enslavement system. What is the DLT XRP ledger? Dollarization bricks, gold NFTs tokenization, Basel 3 ESO 2002, SEC lawfare FDT X fraud ETEH gate corruption and cryptocurrency discussions are all about new leaders and innovators. On the global stage are companies like Ripple Stellar or Quant Network and Metwork HBAR Algor and IOTA Flare Networks and many others. A better world demands better systems accountability, honesty, transparency and fairness. It demands less war poverty division dishonesty and hoarding of global riches by a tiny minority old power brokering elites are the ones resisting monetary system modernization true wealth redistribution sorry and essential changes that will benefit our entire world for the next 100 years they'd prefer to kill off half the population start world war 3 or launch a new pandemic before surrendering any control over their banking monopoly once we know the ideas, rules, principles, beliefs, and driving forces motivating the richest powers on earth, we can clearly understand who's pulling the strings on the global stage. War has never been about rape, ethnicity, nationality, religion, vaccine status, sexual orientation, or gender, war, chaos, division, and famine have always been byproducts of an elite few who so worship money control and the enslavement of mankind that they're literally willing to divide, deceive and destroy at any scale necessary to win, follow the money, ask basic questions, look at the evidence, don't misplace, trust, seek wisdom, first act with courage, ignore the media, we got this. And you know, what's funny about this? Recently, while I was driving, I was listening to the song War Higgs. For those of you who are old music fans, you probably know this song well. It speaks volumes when you really tie it back to the events that have been occurring around our monetary system and military system for a very long time. You have to keep in mind that almost every war we have seen has been fought to protect something. You could argue that it is to protect our territory or exact revenge on our enemies. But most of the time, the US dollar and its dominance are the main targets of these wars. This video does touch on the topic of what's happening when manufacturing anything. In the dollar and euro-based global monetary system, printing money has been one of their weapons. They have also employed sanctions outside and here, and one of their tools has been snatching this account and grabbing that account. This cannot go on forever, and we require a new financial architecture that is controlled globally, not by you, not by a dollar, not by another and they are all demanding a new system because they recognize how crooked and manipulative the current financial and manipulative the current financial and monetary system is. Who better to deal with the issues of corruption and manipulation than those who are experiencing them firsthand? For this reason, there will be a significant shift in the distribution of wealth and a transfer of wealth. I am aware that we have been discussing this for a while. Everyone believes that used car sales are absurd, but when you look at what's really happening, that is, when you see the stage that they have set for us and the play that is taking place right in front of our eyes, you will see that institutions and businesses are concentrating on blockchain and distributed ledger technology. Nothing on earth can stop bricks of dollarization and XRP advancing the world order. And here we have a loss of Suez Canal control and US government control. 
we are also witnessing gold being accumulated at enormous historical amounts at the same exact moment that we are witnessing regulations standardizing major change happening with Basel three tokenization. All of this is happening at a very significant time, and I don't believe in coincidences. No, I believe that we are witnessing a massive change on the horizon, and very soon it's going to be unavoidable. Prosper or lose. The media is not our friend. The World Reserve Currency Status New DLT Monetary Order wins Gold Silver XRP CERP Sound Money Transparency Accountability and Equal Playing Field for All Battle Lie and Deny Everyone's Wishes. Check out this additional brick feature right now. They freely declare, Chris, that they support alternatives to the dollar. All right, so they say, we're about de-dollarization, but they don't say, it must be this. Instead, they say, it could be this, this or this, we don't care. It could also be the Chinese, who happen to be involved in the sales of oil from the Persian Gulf. Dear, it might be the UAI Durham. Well, Durham, for use by nations desiring gold, I apologize for being dollar-pegged. It might be the rupee for Russia's oil sales to India. It might be the U1 for Iran. And now that they've declared they have the, let's just say, connecting cables that are advancing BRICS countries and employing XRP, so consider it as a palette. This is your de-dollarization palette. You have the ruble, you have the money you won, you have XRP, and you may have a few more options later. As for XRP, they recently announced in the BRICS that they will use it as a transition bridge currency. They won't be using it in large quantities. But as they do, I believe the value of the XRP coin will increase. It will be one country after another that adopts the XRP, as I have been saying for a while. I expect it to gain in value and that they will then increase the market cap. This will enable them to square their market cap, increase the quantity of currencies, increase their market cap, and square their total. I conducted a consultation call somewhere in May. The man, who I believe was from Qatar, stated, Jim, you see my Arab name and my English is perfect. He also continued, I want you to know that I spend a lot of time in Saudi Arabia with my business. He was not an oil pumper. Let's just say he works with equipment that supports the oil and gas business. He wasn't a pumper of gas. He was in the apparatus when he stated, you know, we don't pronounce it. I spent a lot of time in Bahrain and I spent a lot of time in Saudi Arabia. All right, it's Bahrain Bash Bahrain. He claimed that Bahrain is really intriguing, as it permits alcohol and pubs. Dancing and disco decks are permitted. Bikinis are permitted on the beach. And some women wear skimpy attire at specific strip clubs. I apologize, gentlemen's clubs. They are, in fact, gentlemen. I asked him where he saw XRP mentioned in cell phone bills, and he replied that it was used throughout the Persian Gulf. However, I forgot. Electricity bills and water bills both display it. All right, I replied. He replied, yes, that was the first introduction. I added, how about for contracts and business? He replied, there are several monarchies in the Gulf. I asked, tell me if this is an example that happens often. A construction site is present. There are numerous building suppliers and the cement supplier invoices in excess of $100,000 in XRP. He acknowledged that this is something that has started to happen. Specific contractors are now billing in XRP and accepting XRP payments. I explained that this was a trial and that the UAE was responsible for it. They are the manager and the ringleader. They are the lead musicians. They are responsible for configuring, testing, requesting and researching it, he acknowledged. And I mentioned that I had heard that $230 million had been spent setting up the digital architecture for the Gulf payment system. He acknowledged that the UAE is the leading country. I then remarked, Well, wouldn't it be interesting if France announced that they were going to buy UAE oil, gas, or loan with a 25 payment in XRPI? Jim, I honestly believe that might happen, and I agree with you. Now, let me clarify that I cannot attest to the legitimacy of this because I haven't personally come across any documentation confirming that bricks are made entirely of XRP. However, I can attest to the fact that all of this is playing a significant role in the new monetary order that is emerging with oil. It's interesting because that can be tokenized and transferred over DLT. Remember, everything will be tokenized. Everything of value will be tokenized. All of this is particularly significant since it is happening at a time when Basel III is starting to become a reality. The major bankers are worried about it because they believe it will put an end to corruption. It will put an end to the deception and manipulation. 
and it will hurt the financial industry greatly. Bank failures will result in financial catastrophe, and from the ashes of that financial catastrophe will emerge a new monetary system that will be largely based on DLT blockchain technology, gold, silver, and other similar commodities. And guess what? After the entire system is completely reset, and we find ourselves in the digital future of payments and finance, will CIBDCs exist? Probably no one knows for sure, but based on everything we've read and seen, it appears to be the case. We will now know that they claim it will blend in seamlessly with fiat money. Although we are unsure, it appears that they desire the ERER CBDC. Their goal is to stabilize the currency. They don't really desire fiat money, and I believe that the pandemic played a significant role in accelerating that trend because, at the time, all documents mentioned a sharp decline in the use of cash. Ultimately, all of this is taking place at a very important moment, and I believe that everyone should be taking a close look at these utility gems that are producing amazing value and leading the way in the enormous changes surrounding this new global order. After all, we need digital currency. It is imperative that we give this our full attention. We cannot overlook this at a time when inflation is on the rise and the financial system is essentially collapsing and displaying its frailty. Having said that, I hope you all enjoyed the video and will make sure to subscribe to receive updates in the future.